Hello, and welcome to this other short little demonstration. In this case, it's the chi-squared goodness of fit test. Now, be aware that the goodness of fit test compares proportions across a single population. Let me repeat that. Proportions across a single population. So we're dealing with one population, but the number of possible values, um, possible outcomes, is more than just two. It's more than just success failure. It's um, it, it could be red, green, blue, yellow, it could be blonde hair, brown hair, gray hair, yellow hair, whatever color of hair. But So each person, each entity, whatever you want to call it, has more than just two possible outcomes each. So it's one population, more than two possible outcomes for each. And again, it's categorical outcomes. So that looks familiar. Parametric test is called the chi-squared goodness of fit test assumes that the cells all have at least um, five. Uh, expected value in each of the cells is five. If it violates that, then you've there's nothing else you can do. And the five, again, is Pearson saying five. Since then, we can get down to uh, at least one. It's still a good test, as long as people's lives don't depend on it. So here's a situation, not school zones, by the way. I couldn't think of a way of getting school zones into this one and, and, and keep using the same data. Um, so Skittles, so if it can't be school zones, it might as well be candy, uh, states that the color distribution in its regular candies is uniform. That means that the proportion of purples is equal to the proportion of yellows and equal to the proportion... I, I don't know what the actual colors are. Um, so here's the question. Is the corporate statement correct? Is the distribution... Um, going to be um, uniform. And since I actually don't know the colors off the top of my head, I haven't had Skittles for a long time, I do know that there's five colors, so the hypothesis is, the research hypothesis, is the proportion of A color is equal to the proportion of B is equal to the proportion of C is equal to the proportion of D equals the proportion of E equals 20%. And it equals 20% because there's five different colors, so five divided by 100 is 20%, or 100 divided by five is 20%. Since those have all equals, that's the null. The alternative is that at least one differs from the 20%. Test is a chi-squared goodness fit test. Assumption, again, is the data are binomially distributed in each group. Since this is an approximate test, that reduces to we need to make sure the expected value in each cell is at least 5. So I got a bag of Skittles. Yeah, those numbers should look kind of familiar. I got a bag of Skittles and I counted all the purples, which are grape, and the yellows, which are lemon, and the greens, which are now green apple, they used to be lime, and the oranges, which are orange, and the red, which are strawberry, which I used to think were cherry. And did you know the purple are grape in the U.S., but they're black currant in the United Kingdom? Did you know that really doesn't matter too much? Anyway, there's our data. It's a summary data because it represents however many if you add up 31 and 38 and 33 and 40 and 31, you add those up, that's the number of Skittles that I ate, I mean, that I counted, because I would never eat the Skittles. Um, so let's go into R. So we got to get the data in there. Now we could create a vector of our data, 31, 38, 33, 40, 31. Could do that. Make sure I run that. And then Kaisk test of Skittles. There we go. By default, it tests the hypothesis that the proportions are all equal. Um, so the results: chi squared or the x squared value is two, degrees of freedom is four, the number of colors minus one. P value is 0.7358. P is greater than alpha, failed to reject the null hypothesis. The data do not tell us that the corporation is wrong. Now, perhaps um, instead of that hypothesis, and now we're off in the realm, unscripted realm, um, let's, let's say that corporate tells us that the uh, proportions are actually not uniform. I think it's prop, but follows this uh, distribution. 10% uh, are purple, 
10% uh, are yellow, 30% are green, 30% are orange, 20% are red. Control R. Nope, it's not prop. It's P. There we go. And so if that is our hypothesized distribution, that there's 10% of all Skittles is purple, 10% yellow, 30% green, 30% orange, 20% red, then this would be how we would test that hypothesis. Notice that we give the hy uh, hypothesized distribution inside the p equals part. And then we get a small p value, which means no, we got a lot of evidence that this is not the correct distribution. But again, this was the original hypothesis. Failed to reject the null hypothesis. We have no evidence that corporate America is lying to us, at least not in this case. And that's really all there is to a chi-squared chi goodness of fit test. It takes the data and what you hypothesize the distribution to be. Or if you hypothesize the distribution to be uniform, it just takes the data. Pretty easy. Hope this was helpful. Take care.